Welcome, everybody. This is Internet Marketing Unleashed. I'm your host, Scott Patrick, Dean of Blogonomics and Podology. And my, it's uh, the middle of May 2019. I don't usually like to date these things, but my New Year's resolution that I've uh, made like three days ago is to do more of my own podcasts. I'm co-host of a health podcast. I'm executive producer of real estate investing podcasts, uh, co-host of stock option podcasts. And uh, it's always wonderful to have people that you're working with. And of course, they are the ones that keep me going on those particular podcasts. And it's like the cobbler's children have no shoes. Uh, you know, the farmer's children go hungry. Uh, and of course, my own uh, personal podcast gets neglected terribly. So uh, I decided a couple of days ago that I was going to uh, rectify that, make a commitment to being on this podcast more often, and uh, hopefully that'll be the case. And I'm very, very excited today to uh, start off this new beginning. And that's the cool thing about life is every day you can have a new beginning. Every podcast episode can be a new beginning. Every video you do can be a new beginning. And in this new beginning, my good, good friend, we've known each other for like ever, Ken MacArthur of the uh, Impact, the movie, the Im Impact book, uh, every, and he's gonna he's joining us today. I was gonna say he's going to join us. He's joining us. He's on. Ken, uh, welcome to the show. Thanks so much, Scott. It's uh, it's fantastic to be here. You know, it's been uh, quite a while. I've been watching your adventures and all the fun you're having. Uh, maybe it's not as fun as it looks, but it looks pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, you know, life is life is life, and there there are always challenges, and and we re you know we we move forward through them. We have our goals, and uh, one of the things that I learned from you a long time ago is uh, we all make an impact in the world, and the question is what sort of impact do we want to make? And uh, in mine, it's I'm hoping it's an impact of inspiring people to get outside of the boundaries of wherever it is they're living and see the rest of the world. And if they are going out and seeing the rest of the world, then going, we have habits. So they'll, there are certain ways that people go to see the world and I'm hoping to inspire people to do that in other ways. So I love you. that because, uh, you know, it really is an adventure. I, uh, I lived in, um, in LA in Hollywood for a long long time and never even made it to Mexico so I, <laughs> I envy you <laughs> I did finally make it to Mexico later I spoke at a conference down there and I've been to Canada I spoke at a conference there and um, I uh, I've had a few adventures uh, since then but nothing like what you've been doing <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you. And you've done. You're in the process of doing something that I would never even dream of doing, which is a, a feature-length uh, blockbuster movie, and along with a documentary. So tell us a little bit more about uh, Impact the movie. Well, it's actually part of a three-movie pro uh, project. So we've already completed a short film that's designed to help over a hundred nonprofit. Uh, organizations raise funds and awareness because I believe that we all make a difference whether we want to or not and that if we're gonna um, make a difference we might as well have a positive impact and in order to do that there are people out there doing amazing things all the time so why not get energized why not participate in some of the amazing things that people are doing around the world to have a positive impact in the world and then the second film is a feature link uh, drama that is um, all centered within a, half, a five mile radius of Philadelphia City Hall. It's about how people from diverse backgrounds, uh, everybody from the, if you know anything about Philadelphia, you know that within a five mile radius, you've got the power brokers of City Hall and you've got the most drug, drug infested areas of the country uh, sitting in that five mile radius. And, Sometimes people are, are feeling hopeless and helpless in that uh, small, small area. And yet we all have an impact whether we want to or not. And this film really highlights how we make a difference and how even if you're feeling all alone, that we can work together to have a huge impact in the world. So it's that a- That sounds like a great theme. Yeah, it's, it's a great uplifting uh, 
message at a time that we really need that kind of uplifting. You know, we we hear so much garbage in the in the atmosphere. It's all around us. We get uh, pummeled by all of the bad news, all the terrible things that are happening in the world. But we don't realize that uh, just by existing, we impact literally thousands of people. And if we uh, use the art, science, and technology that we have, like you're teaching people every day, like we have with the Impact Factor Movie Project, we can literally reach millions of people and have a, a positive impact in their lives. So uh, that's a wonderful, wonderful goal. And then the third movie of the project is a documentary. So I, as you know, I've been teaching for over a decade now, probably a decade and a half at least. Um, <clears throat> And I've been studying for longer the ways that uh, the ways that we can move the masses. So, how do you use art, science, and technology to actually reach out and make a difference in the world? How do you get your message through when there's so much noise in the world, uh, so much, so many bad things happening? I want to teach people who have a message of positive hope how to get that message out uh, 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 along past the the clutter that we're in right now. So. Uh, we've been uh, teaching that for a long time with the Impact School of Marketing that I have here in Philadelphia, with the events that we've been doing around the country, and now uh, through a documentary film that will be backing up uh, everything that we teach in the other two uh, films. So lots of excitement going on. Awesome. So I'm, I'm really curious because you're the only person in kind of like the internet marketing field that I'm aware of, although I know somebody who did kind of like a game show once, uh, this like a feature film, like how did that come about? You know, it, re it really came about because uh, a, a Jamaican immigrant wandered into my, one of my workshops and he told me a story about um, how a young girl had come to him and she said basically to him that, uh, she needed $5,000 or that a judge was going to send her up to state prison. And um, everybody told the guy that this was just a scam and not to be taken advantage of. But he actually uh, came up with small amounts of money and then larger amounts of money. And then he got curious about what was going on. And he kept after it and he kept after it and he kept after it. Long story short, he actually, uh, he actually discovered a ring of extortionists that were extorting kids that were in trouble with the law and um, trumping up charges against them and then uh, sending them out to collect from anybody that loved them to try and uh, raise extortion money. And he brought down that entire ring of people. And if you met the guy, he's just a simple, uh, humble man. He was a welder, a Jamaican immigrant. Uh, he worked uh, in the shipyards for a while. Uh, but this is just a girl that came to him out of the neighborhood. Now, he could have just stopped and ignored that fact. Uh, and he could have just let it go. But he didn't. He, per he persisted, even though the police told him not to mess with it. Uh, when he went to the DA, he went to an assistant DA that was actually part of the ring. Uh, the judge, it turned out, wasn't even a judge, and yet they had a courthouse in the courthouse that was set up with a completely separate computer system and everything else that was going on uh, that had been operating for years. Now, think of all the young lives that were impacted by just that one man's uh, persistence. So this isn't his story, but it was certainly inspired by that story. He just came to one of my Impact Action workshops and told us the story of uh, what, uh, what happened to him. And, and he was still being threatened by these people, even though the judge was in jail, they still had lots of, of uh, contacts in the community. His life was at risk. He wasn't even sure that he wanted the story to come out. But, but um, through the process of, of learning about that story, I wrote a, a feature film. I, I worked with a three-time Academy Award-winning screenwriter and producer of over 30 films to refine the script. We auditioned over 2,000 actors just for parts in the trailer from some of the films that you would know and love, uh, you know, around the world. Uh, and we've, we've managed to get to the point where what we're doing right now is we're in the middle of a Kickstarter campaign that's designed to build the audience and, and to uh, get this message out to even more people. So we're really excited about that. We were picked uh, 
out of all of the projects on Kickstarter during the first days of our uh, launch, we were chosen as ranked number seven out of 70,000 plus Kickstarter film projects and, and video projects on the earth as ranked by uh, popularity. So we were, we were off to the races. Now we just got to now we just got to keep that momentum going because you know it's easy to start something but kickstarter is all or nothing you get nothing if you don't exceed your goal so uh, we have to make that happen now so how close are you to achieving your goal we are right now as of uh, a couple of seconds ago when i checked it just before i got on this call with you we're 71 percent funded of a twenty-two thousand dollar goal so that means we've got uh, $15,650 pledged from our backers. They've got 74 backers as of right now, and we've got 19 days to get through the about $7,000 more. Now, that's just our minimum goal. So that's what we have to do to actually secure those funds. We wanted to set that goal uh, low, but we want to exceed that greatly because obviously the more money that we can raise for this project, the higher the quality of the movie can be and uh, the better job that we can do uh, to work together because we can do so much more working together than we ever could alone. And uh, that's one of the key principles. We've got Almost, uh, it's getting close to 400 people in our social media team on our Facebook group. Uh, we'd love to have people join us on that. Some of the top uh, social media experts in the world. We're doing all kinds of interesting things. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to have a Facebook Live uh, broadcast with uh, members of the Impact family with Joel Comp kind of leading off that and people coming to talk about, you know, why they wanted to back that movie and We've just been getting rave reviews from all kinds of people that you know. You know, when you build something like this, when you do anything creative, as you know, uh, you don't know what the response is going to be. You don't know if people are going to love it or hate it or, or, or whatever, but we've been really, really excited about the response. I feel like one of those late night hosts. You know, I've got Ken here. He's got a movie coming out. And uh, I was wondering, Ken, if we could play the trailer. Yeah, absolutely. I would love that. Uh, you know, we put a lot of work into the trailer. It was actually done with a zero budget, if you can imagine that, a zero budget. I think it's pretty incredible the way that it came out. Uh, a lot of people put a lot of work into it, but we didn't put any money into it. So just imagine what we can do with a real budget. <laughs> it's, it's an amazing trailer, and we're going to show it to you right now. Start walking one direction. Every cross street, flip a penny. Heads go right, tails go left. No telling where you will end up. There's a five mile radius around Philadelphia City Hall where residents from all walks of life are searching for power, peace, and forgiveness. The smallest series of actions about to change everything. You can choose to help or you can choose to lie. You take care of me, I'll take care of you. But as the mayor's chief of staff, there's no getting around the it. The mayor will now take your question. You make a difference. Whether you want to or not, and your choice matters more than you can ever imagine. It's only four miles from City Hall to the Badlands, but the world's apart. The impact of your smallest actions lasts forever, and there's no way to stop it. When you do something for the right reasons, Nothing bad happens. This is your defining political rule. Want me to shoot a few holes in it? There could be a few exceptions. Destiny Drifting has been implicated in the political strong arming of Sam Robinson. Nothing about justice is black and white. The only way to get control is to take it. Life? It's like a penny walk. You're going in one direction, but at every corner, you get a choice. Okay, that was pretty awesome, Ken. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I was really, uh, you know, it was interesting conditions that we made that under. 
uh, the, the young girl actress that was in the opening scene of it uh, was a real trooper. There, we were out there in the middle of the night with uh, mosquitoes and uh, she just hung in there like crazy. It poured rain on the first day that <laughs> that we actually tried to shoot. They were in from out of state. It was just an adventure. But I'm really, really happy about the way that it turned out. I'm really looking forward to what we can do with full funding on the movie. So yeah, thank you that so much. Was, that was pretty, I was thinking about some of the cities I've been in and would I dare to throw the coin up to choose right or left? <laughs> I don't. I think I'd never be seen again. Not because the city is dangerous, but because I would be so lost, I wouldn't know where to go. I know the feeling. You know, I I went undercover for this movie as a rideshare driver in the badlands of Philadelphia. So it's an interesting experience uh, to go through some of those areas. And I'm not sure I'd want to be a little girl doing it, but uh, but our our hero is a hero. So. <laughs> One of the keys to these types of things is, is having a big vision, right? If you just have an itty bitty teeny weeny little, I wanna make a three minute uh, commercial about impact versus I wanna make a feature film and a documentary and a short film that's gonna be you know, helping all these nonprofits. Um, all of a sudden, this, the, the huge vision really attracts uh, a lot of support. Yeah, well, there's so many people that want to want to be involved in this, and, and we're just starting, you know, the adventure of how many people we can involve in this project. You know, obviously, uh, nonprofit organizations, foundations, uh, corporations can get involved in sponsoring this film and working with that. So we just uh, started working with uh, some organizations to pull some of those things together. Um, but it's all about the... Uh, you know, building that family, building that audience of people that have that same vision that we do. Now, I've been working on this film, if you can believe it, for at least four years. I mean, it was in my head before that, but I've been working on this project. I went back through to see some of the announcements when I first started talking about that, and that was like four years ago. Most I remember. People... I remember. I was at one of uh, your events, and you started talking about it. I don't know. Th I'm not sure if that was the first time you started talking about it, but... Yeah. Yeah, it, it's uh, it, it's incredible. Most people think that you know films just pop out of nowhere, but uh, but you would be surprised the number of films that people have worked on for a decade before they came to fruition. So we're uh, we're moving right along in the process right now. We're really ramping this up. We're excited to get started. We want to start filming uh, here in the summer and fall uh, this year. So that involves lots of people. I mean. We're, we're not just relying on Kickstarter uh, funds to, uh, to back this movie. Uh, we have some private investment that we're talking to. We've got uh, corporations and foundations. We've got grants uh, from the state and, and some things like that that uh, we can use to offset some of our costs. Of course, people can, uh, you know, they can cooperate in so many different ways. Uh, in building up uh, what we want to create together. So like I said, working together, we can do so much more than we ever could apart. That's, that's absolutely true. You're going to have to get to used to the idea of going to the Cannes Film Festival. I know they just had it in, I believe it's Southern France. And you know, you're going to have to be prepared. You have to get your passport so that you can, you can go there when they have the, you know, the world premiere and you win all these awards. You know, uh, uh, I don't know if, if you know Greg Reed and, and Frank Sh uh, uh, Shankowitz, um, who actually founded the, the Make-A-Wish uh, Foundation. He was involved in the, the starting of that. They were just at Cannes with their movie, uh, Wish Man. And uh, it was really interesting to see, you know, friends and people that you've known for years uh, going up there. They just... Uh, they were on the front page with their screening of uh, of Wishman on the Cannes magazine, and <laughs> it was it was pretty uh, it was pretty exciting to be able to see somebody that that you've known you know for a long time uh, reach that kind of success. You never know what's going to happen, um, but I do know that uh, you know I've had a lot of impact in the past, both uh, both positive impact and negative impact. I think just like all of us. And that impact ripples into the future for 
ever and ever and ever probably. Uh, but I can't do anything about that impact. And I don't know what the future is going to be. I don't know if I'll be sitting there in cans or at Sundance or having uh, parties with superstars. I have no idea what the future holds. Uh, we aren't promised tomorrow at all. But what I do know is that the people that are listening to your broadcast right now uh, are the people that you and I can impact today. And if there's anything that we can do uh, to encourage people, you know, uh, the biggest impact anybody can have on somebody's life is just a kind word of encouragement at the right time. Uh, we did a campaign uh, called Speak Up, Save Lives, which got a simple message of hope out to 30 million people over a 30-day period of time and uh, to prevent teen suicide. And that, uh, that, that simple message from all the people that were at that event, uh, uh, who's the person that had the biggest impact in your life? Um, it was people from all walks of life, uh, maybe a parent, maybe a teacher, maybe a bum off the street that they never ever saw again. But the common thread that had the biggest impact in their life was just that simple kind word of encouragement at the right time. A teenage mom that didn't know how she was gonna get through the next day and somebody said, you can get through this. Now we say that every day to people and we don't think much about it. We don't think it really makes a difference. But that was the biggest impact in their life that person who just said you can get through that and uh, the week before she had just celebrated 22 years later uh, the graduation of her daughter from high school so i mean from college so that you know that kind of impact is an impact that lasts for generations so you never know what a kind word is going to do uh in a in a moment that you don't think it's very important yeah and and you're you're really right and the chances are we won't know Right. right. You're reminding me, I'm uh, on Vancouver Island. I'm about, I'm about five miles away from the nearest uh, grocery type store. And yep. like, I'm right in the kind of, it's wonderful. The, there's an ocean just behind me across the street. And uh, I just, it was just yesterday. I thought, well, I'm going to go, I need to get out. And so I, I have two dogs here with me that I'm looking after. And I thought, I'm just going to take them for a walk. And I thought, you know, I'll go get some stuff at the grocery store at the same time. So as I'm driving along, there is a fellow, he's got a big long beard, he's got a, an old beat up leather jacket on. He basically looks like he's either a bum or he's uh, you know, a heavy duty mechanic type, right? Like, you know, he's, he's not at all dressed to, dressed to show off. And and he and he was just sort of standing by the side of the road, right? And I, I can't. I'm pretty sure he had his thumb out, but he might not have. And I just stopped. Said, "You need a lift?" And he said, "Sure." And he gets in, and he's actually drunk. Right? Uh, you know, he apologizes. You know, he says, "I'm I'm going to the to the buy the grocery store to you know because there's a liquor store. I'm going to buy some beer, and I'm just going to sit by the the beach and enjoy the sunset. It was a gorgeous day." So I says, "Well, I'm actually going exactly there." And so we had a nice little chat. We got there. I knew he was going to be finished before me. And sure enough, I come out. He's sitting by the road. Because it's like, it's going to take him an hour and a half to walk home. Right? Wow. And so I saw him sitting by the, by, by the side of the parking lot, not even on the road. He was just preparing himself mentally, half drunk, to walk, uh, you know, for an hour. And I rolled my window. I said, well, you ready for your ride home? And he looked at me and said, really? And I go, yeah, sure. Come on in. And, oh, that's wonderful. you know, he was really appreciative of everything else. And I'm sure that I didn't convince him not to drink anymore, but, yeah. uh, but <laughs> he, was, he made a difference in his life. Let me tell you. Yeah, exactly right. You can't fix everything in the world, but you can do the, the little things that can have a big impact. You never yeah. know. You know, I, I used to tell a story of a, of a young man that, um, that uh, wrote a note and left it in his apartment and, headed for the, the bridge to jump off and said that uh, he wouldn't jump off if anybody just acknowledged him and said anything to him the entire way. And unfortunately, nobody did. You know, those are the kinds of things that you don't know the impact that you have. And as a matter of fact, at that event that we had, uh, there were lots of people who the person who had the biggest impact in their life didn't have any clue that they had that impact in their life. They never saw that person again. So. Yeah. Um, we all, we all make an impact whether we want to or not. And that's, I think, a really key message because you can make a good impact or you can make a negative impact. Yeah, life is hard. I mean, I, I, 
that's the reason that uh, I really can't judge anybody. I'm, I'm constitutionally incapable of, of judging people because I had a blessed life. I had wonderful parents. I got a good education. I lived in uh, a country that, that has one of the most free, uh, you know, possibilities of, of advancement in the world. You know, one of the, um, you know, I had wonderful friends. I had mentors. I had all kinds of people that helped me along the way. And I know how hard it was for me on some days because we all feel like we can't get through the day sometimes. Yes. And the good news is that up to now, we're a hundred percent record of getting through the day. So, <laughs> so that's a pretty good ranking. You know, you're, you're, you're doing really, really well. Now, someday it won't be the case, uh, but that's only happens once out of all the days that you exist. So uh, you're getting through today. Uh, and I, I have confidence for you that you're going to get through a lot more. I was just thinking, we, we hope that uh, there are many, many decades of days uh, left for you, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so. Uh, but we don't know. We don't know. So uh, we might as well have the impact that we can have today. So right. uh, I want to get this movie project made because I know how many people it's going to impact. But I also know how many people it's impacting today, just as we talk about these messages, as we do something like this and talk about the message and the vision. And uh, even if I didn't get to finish off this vision, uh, somebody else would be inspired by what we're doing today because I see it all around me all the time. So Right. Cool. So, Ken, we're, we're getting low on time. So what I want to do is I want to ask you to list off if somebody wanted to like volunteer their time or their skills or something like that, what are some that you, you'd love to have just off the top of your head? And a follow up to that would be like, how could someone get a hold of you to do that? And the other one is in terms of the actual, like give us some money to, you know, really put your money where your mouth is sort of thing. But you might want to say it so that people that are listening to this, not watching it can sure. hear. And, uh, probably. Uh, Probably the easiest way to get to, or the easiest way for me to pronounce it is to, to go to uh, kenmacarthur.com forward slash Kickstarter. So it's K E N M C A R T H U R dot com forward slash Kickstarter. And that will take you straight to the Kickstarter project because the Kickstarter project itself has a URL like this. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's an easy way to, to uh, get in connection um, you know, with uh, what we're doing and see the project because you can see we, we have a great trailer that we put together. Uh, there's a video that explains it all. All the materials are there that show the background and the story behind it and the team that's behind it and all those kinds of things are there on the Kickstarter page. And then you can do a search for Ken MacArthur on uh, social media uh, at um, facebook.com. I do a lot of stuff. We have our Facebook social media team. And if anybody has any skills at all or any interest in funding a movie or being part of the project or just wants to learn how to create a mass audience, the best way you can learn is by doing. So come and be part of that team. And uh, you can just do a search on, uh, on Facebook for a social media uh, team. Uh, for Impact Factor movie, and you will find uh, that uh, by just searching, and then just ask to join it, and we'll uh, we'll approve that right away. And we would love to have you as part of the team. Awesome, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm on the team. So you can send that link out too with the with the uh, information if you want. I'll I'll do that. All right, all right. Ken, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day and uh, sharing all of this. And I really appreciate you and all the, all the wonderful things that you've done for me in the past and are doing uh, today. Well, thank you for uh, sharing your adventure and all of the, the travels and all the things you learn along the way. You're impacting the world every single day. So uh, my, my favorite international uh, correspondent for the Impact family. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. This is Internet Marketing Unleashed, and we appreciate you joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Great day. Everybody.